Why don't we just walk out? Why don't we turn around? It seems busy. So no, yep, this is why. Hi, I'm Jessa. And I'm Alex. And this is Jessa and Alex Watch. Midnight Mass, Episode 7, Revelation. What if this last episode was called Exodus? And we all got the hell out. That would be great. (laughs) Bev needs to go. (laughs) Correct. And honestly, so does Monsignor. Yep, yep, yep. I feel sorry for Duck Dynasty. He seems like he was a good person and he got roped into it and it wasn't his choice. But sorry, dude. Very sad and that he had his revelation at the end of the last episode. I'm really, really sorry about Ali. Same. I don't believe we've not really, you know, had any reason to believe that someone can come back from being a vampire. And that sucks for him. He came there to like keep himself and his kids safe. Let's, let's watch this. Thing. Let's do let's- this. <laughs> <gasps> oh, right. I forgot she'd come back too. Okay, this church is empty. Every single person in town was coming to church. I mean, I guess all of the ones who came to the Easter Vigil. I really don't care about your sad face. Look at your bloody church. Look what you've done. Look on your works, all you mighty and despair. She can quote the Bible too. Did it hurt you? It killed me? Okay, this is not a safe place because they're going to come through. You better board up those windows like it's a storm. You, you said you had samples. I didn't. I, 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 I don't want it. We're in like a zombie pokala, po- post-apocalyptic. Like, I feel like I'm watching The Walking Dead. Sarah, you said it was a contagion. If just one of them, just one of them makes it to the mainland. <sighs> That doesn't kill them. It can give them time. Loud. <laughs> I'd like a word with Bev. I'd like a word with Bev. Not my sons, you bitch. Uh-huh. Bev, I want you to listen to me. <laughs> because your whole life, I think you've needed to hear this. Oh my god, yes. You aren't a good person. <laughs> <laughs> That was uncalled for. God (laughs) doesn't love you more than anyone else. But if Riley Flynn, a drunk and a murderer, Uh was evidence of the quality of his parenting, he was. Every part of him. God loves him. Just as much as he loves you, Bev. Jesus. And I stood beneath this. I really just like don't want to hear him speak anymore. <laughs> yeah, I don't care if he's like feels really sad now about everything. I will say though, kudos to this man. His performance is, of course, what the entire show balances on. He's been great. Yes. But if I am honest, then there's no point in being anything else anymore. It was you. It was you. And Sarah. Oh. That's what I did. Sarah's his daughter. Too scared to come down and be with you. I've been too scared to tell her own daughter the truth. Why is, why is this the scarlet letter here at the end all of a sudden? Yeah. <laughs> That's why she said, I saw your father at the window early in like the first episode. Oh, yes. Uh, Then we could be a family this time. This is a very Mike Flanagan moment here. Oh, yeah. (laughs) These separated by death, truly lovers, you know. Mm -hmm. He loves a tragic love story. Yeah. You know what? That's no excuse. 
all of these people are dead. Oh, I don't yeah. care that you never took the advantage of being with the person you loved. Hey, Flynn. Uh, you guys smell good. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is no. why you can't have guns in a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> oh, no. Why would you shoot the original? This is not looking good, guys. Why did she do that? To distract you, dummies. Are you an idiot? Fornicators, the sorcerers, idolaters, and all of the liars, their place will be in the lake that burns. She's like a lot. <laughs> That's an understatement. <laughs> She's a lot. Oh. Oh. Dark. Did the Bible say that man was meant to create the fires that's her whole thing isn't it she casts herself in the role of god all along honey your script's flawed oh, it's all mine same it's all mine too that was a really sweet inversion of the normal it's not mine kind yeah. of yeah whatever this is don't change who you are Burn it all to the ground with fire. You tried to do this with Hill House and things didn't end very well. <laughs> That's true. I don't think the town is sentient though, mm -hmm. the way Hill House is. You gonna suck your daughter dry? <gasps> it's the nest. Walked into their lair. Yeah. Um. Oh no. Don't do this light thing again. Why don't we just walk out? Why don't we turn around? It seems busy. So no, yep, yeah, this is why. Yeah, he's still busy having a little feast. So let's move. Lisa? <laughs> Stop it. Oh. I gotta be, you got, I mean, you gotta give it to the girl. She can organize an event. Like, I really wish she'd fix her robe, put on something nice. We should look cute for the end of the world. Hello. It's never supposed to be about me. It's supposed to be about God. Well, that ship has sailed, honey boo. Well, I suppose it isn't you anymore. Look, Bev, it's you now. Call anyone on earth father. You have one father and he is in heaven. Just now thought about that one. Mm-hmm. Pharisees, hypocrites, vipers brood. <laughs> Her performance is so good. It is. Like I'm laughing, but like she is like done such good work. She has doing on every important word. Yes. Vipers, brood. Yes, mother of whores and all of Earth's abominations. I truly hope you two enjoy the sunrise. Oh. Bev, I can't believe you made it through seven hours before you called someone a whore. How did you restrain yourself? They, they burn the boats. You didn't think they were going to do that? Why didn't you have someone watching the boats? Stop pausing. Keep yeah, moving. We can feel sad later, kids. Lord, keep... The Pray in the boat! <laughs> my mom. Oh, my Lord. We're going to go through our whole prayer list right now. They're all gone, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, honey. Get in the boat. I killed my Julie tonight. You killed your wife. And my boys. I killed my boys. No, I hate to tell you this, but you <laughs> could have brought them back. <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> Just as Sturge apparently brought you back, which was something we discussed only doing in rare and specific. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> this woman. <laughs> it's fine, I guess. Um, <laughs> I mean, I hate to tell you this, but you could have brought him back. All those days you turned your back on God. Well, God literally believes in forgiveness. Yeah. Jesus tells a whole parable about people who get hired to work like one hour at the end of the day, and then they get paid the same as somebody who worked for 12 hours. And the guys who worked for 12 hours are pissed off. And the the farmer is like, yeah, it's my money. And you all agreed to work for the same rate. And so it's my choice if i want to pay these dudes who came in at the last hour to work i get to do that and that's yeah. what i'm doing so that's what mama bear said she was like why does it make you so upset that god loves you the same as he loves everyone else thank you god i'm proud of you i'm sorry that we never told you your mother and i but i i love you so much thanks for that final burden for her i, I mean I wasn't already traumatized by all of this, but now I have to reckon with that you are in my blood. No! Sarah! Sarah! Look at me! No, 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 no! She doesn't okay. want that! Baby girl! Oh, God! Parents aren't meant to bury children. This is why eternal life sucks. You would burn us in our homes! You burn down all the homes! Oh boy. Terrorist. Oh my god. Hungry, huh? Dirty blood. This bitch. Surprised you didn't wait till we were all inside so you could really have your fun. Oh my god. Ah! No! No! Pray with your dad. Ooh. <laughs> the electrons of my body mingle and dance with the electrons of the ground below me in the air. I'm no longer breathing. And I remember. I remember I am energy, not memory, not self. My name is like a drop of water falling. Life is a dream. A wish. I got to the Allahu Akbar. So um, we're pretty wrung out. Yeah. Um, ooh, we. I think um, of the three series, I think I would say this is arguably the best one in that I think there's no like excess in it. Um, and I just feel like every performance was totally on. It's not my favorite. Oh, yeah, same. But I think this is well done. I think it is a well done story. It is, I mean, it's horrifically well done. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, actors, A plus job. Mm -hmm. um, I have no interest in rewatching it, though no. we are about to. Uh, <laughs> oh, <yay. laughs> in the editing room. I, I I would say as a as a piece of art, I think it's great, and I can recommend it. It yes. is worth a watch, for sure. I think it was really great. But yeah, not something I'm going to be like every uh, October. Let me pull right. that out. <laughs> right. Yeah, I rewatch Hill House pretty much every uh, October now. This is not something I'll be returning to every October. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't think. You know, no, I don't see that for me. 
you know, but maybe every 10 years when I've learned to heal. <laughs> I think it's really well done. And I think it does, though it does have a lot to say about the Catholic church and about religion as a whole, as a um, system, I would say. Mm -hmm. I think it does a really good job of telling the story of spiritualism and faith, yeah. which I really appreciate. And I think, um, I don't know, I think not a lot of those stories are being told. And I thought, I think that was a really hard line to walk and that they do mm -hmm. it well. Yeah, I think making pretty much everyone on the in the story a person of faith really allowed them to tell a nuanced story and it mm -hmm. becomes about almost kind of archetypes really where mm -hmm. you can sub in whatever the faith is i think you'll find those archetypes you have a bev who wants to use religion as a way to gain power to mm -hmm. to show how they're better than someone else versus a, a sheriff hassan or a mr and mrs flynn and the way that their faith makes them move through the world and it makes them a, a better person, you know, uh, the mm -hmm. difference in those people. And I would say Riley too, because really atheism was his faith. And yeah. that was the faith that gave him the strength to walk away from the power, what he was offered, you know. And I, I totally kind of agree. Choice. I think a lot of times in a narrative like this, atheism um, is often compared to believing in nothing. But mm -hmm. I think also the show does a really good job of showing that Riley did have very clear and specific beliefs. He yeah. knew exactly, you know, what he thought would be his afterlife. Yeah. Um, I was just really, really glad that, that we made a point of showing Sheriff Hassan dying first. He was like, please, do not make me sit here and watch this man watch his child. Burn yes. Out. I cannot yes. handle that. <laughs> I really appreciate that we only heard the screams of Bev as she yes. burned. Because I was like, I really don't want to hear these uh, people go through um, and accepting him into like terror. And then we watched Bev burn. And I was like, what? That's the right way to do that. Yes. All righty. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this marathon of Midnight Mass. <laughs> In the truest sense. <laughs> and uh, please share all of your feelings in the comments. We want to hear them all. We do. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I think for me, the strongest scene of the series would be Riley's death. Um, I think just the moment of him in his end, like he talked about, that he thought that what would happen for him was that all of his memories and all of his dreams and everything that he'd ever experienced mm -hmm. happening at once, that the way that he experienced that was turning and seeing the girl that he killed. And after she had haunted him for the whole series and him seeing her as she was in her death, to turn and see her beautiful and whole and her hand. And reaching, reaching out, out to him. him. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was such a beautiful handling of forgiveness, which is in is in like direct contrast to the way when the priest is trying to um, to brainwash him. The way the priest is like, "See, I just killed this person, and I felt nothing. And yeah. so I'm fine. I forgave myself." It's in direct contrast to that because he had to like do a a work of reconciliation. Really, it meant sacrificing his own life to save others. And that's when the forgiveness came. It was, yeah. it was out of him actually doing the work, as it were. Um, but I just, that was so beautiful.